All right. Well, here we go. It's uh, weather time, most certainly. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to be standing right now in the studio. <laughs> I'm in the BAM. Okay, here I go. <laughs> I here literally. Come. Hold on. Three, two. This is not the go. day to wear the high heeled shoes, but I have to, <laughs> you know, do the fashion thing too. Uh, Matt and I have been BFFs for a long time now, but never so close as we have been in the five days leading up to the storm. Certainly staying in close contact. Jay, we were talking specifically about heart of the snow belt areas too. Uh, and I know you want to know some numbers, so we're going to get to it right away. Matt, I'm going to take a look at the radar first. You'll fill us in with the forecast details coming up. But let's uh, start off with a look at what we are going through right now. And that is a lot of rain in much of Northeast Ohio. There Here's a look live now at the Interbelt Bridge. This is on the CSU cam. Folks are moving along nicely. Roads are wet. Yes, there is still a commute that happens, despite a lot of folks uh, working from home at this time. But uh, you can see that, really, there is no major impact now. You're starting to see the uh, camera moving around a little bit. The wind is just beginning to pick up. Winds are really going to start to sail as we go through the overnight hours tonight. Winter storm warning. Yes, technically it starts at 7, but let's face it, we are already in the winter storm right now, even though it's just rain. Uh, but that does encompass all of the areas they see here in pink, the exception of the Lakeshore, Ashtabula County. This is where things start to get interesting in the who, what, where, when, why, and how uh, regime of things. Farther south, it's a winter weather advisory. Basically, we're expecting the highest snow totals up here in uh, the pink counties, but that doesn't mean not everyone's going to be getting the snow. It is definitely going to be a high impact event for all of Northern Ohio. The radar is going to be doing some funky things tonight. When we do a changeover from rain to snow, the radar algorithms are processing what's going on in the atmosphere, and it can't always really come to a clear resolution. So you're going to see a lot of jumping back and forth between precipitation types. That's why ground truth becomes a really big deal. So please periodically on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, just hit us a message. I'm at Betsy Kling. Matt is Wince Weather. Uh, you can hit anybody uh, three weather wise, uh, Matt Holly, Matt Standridge, Holly or Jason uh, to let us know what's going on in your neck of the woods. But we're probably seeing some snow mix areas west of 71 and then also farther south. They did have some snow this morning down around Ashland. Temperatures are currently in the low and mid 30s here and those colder temperatures. That's where we're getting the snow change first out east. We're still in the upper 30s, but that doesn't mean we won't be getting the snow change over. This is going to be a very wet snow. It is going to be heavy and slushy. That will change how the accumulations work out over the next 24 to 48 hours. So the rain to snow change is eking eastward as we go over the next few hours. Now that the sun has set, everything starts to go downhill and that uh, rain to snow changeover continues east winds pick up and those winds out of the north will be driving the lake effect machine on top of the snow that's coming from the storm system. So things are really going to start to get interesting in the early morning hours through tomorrow morning. And for more on the bigger forecast picture, we turn things over to Matt now. So Matt, this is definitely going to be one that works out very interestingly. Yeah, absolutely, Betsy. You mentioned it. It's not a clear transition from rain to snow. It's going to be kind of sloppy. We're going to have those big flakes mixing in from time to time. So let's take you through it with your National Design Burn Hour by our forecast. Pick out your hometown where you are, and this is pretty accurate. We agree with this model in terms of when that changeover occurs. Again, there's going to be kind of an in-between stage where you're not completely one or the other. But you can see as we go through time, 10, 11 o'clock, it's getting into the Akron, Canton area, downtown. You'll probably be last up towards the Ashtabula Lakeshore due to that warmer lake water and the wind off the lake, but everyone changing over to snow just beyond midnight. Beyond that, we'll start to lose some of the system snow down in our southern tier of counties and down towards Mansfield, who's been getting it, but it's really going to ramp up near the lakeshore. We're going to have lots of lake enhancement with this. That's snow that already exists from the storm system. You bring moisture across that lake and it adds to the snow that's already falling. Snow will likely be coming down really good tomorrow morning. That will continue mainly in the snow belt tomorrow afternoon before it starts to wind 
wind down into your Wednesday. How much are we talking? Five to nine inches plus. We haven't changed this forecast. This is through Wednesday. Some of those lakeshore counties with that lake enhancement could see well over a foot and notice the immediate lakeshore some lesser amounts. Over the next seven days, your Ken Ganley Kia forecast looks like this. That snow will come to an end early Wednesday. Our next chance of snow is a flurry chance on Friday and then perhaps some more lake snow Sunday, Monday. But this is our event we have to get through first and we will because we could deal with this here in Northeast Ohio. We'll be back with more after the break.